So today I'm back in one of my favorite destinations in Europe. And together with me would be the two crew I'm flying. We only have 24 hours layover here, so might as well cherish every moment that we have in this beautiful place. So we arrived a little late in the afternoon, and since we were all starving, we decided to dine in this local Italian restaurant that is just fronting the historic Colosseum. These ladies wanted to have a sweet wine, so we decided to have a bottle of Moscato while waiting for our order to arrive. It was also a sunny day in Rome, so we enjoyed our time together while savoring our food with a glass of white wine. I sometimes miss being with a set of crew once in a while though, and the good thing about it is that you get to have someone to take photos of you without setting up your tripod. This pot here was never empty before the pandemic started. That is why I'm glad I decided to go out and got a chance to get a decent photo of this famous Colosseum. The streets were also almost empty, though you can still see a few people here. It was never like this before. This place gets crowded most of the time, even sometimes you only see people as your background in your photos. And yeah, I'm saying it with a little exaggeration, but this pandemic changed your lives to maybe forever. The locals here are just having a hard time coping in this trying time. It is never easy for everybody, but I guess we just have to deal with our reality and move forward, even if it means pushing ourselves a little harder to survive. It was around 3 in the afternoon that it started to get a little dark. The sunset here during the winter season is around 4 in the afternoon. And we were trying to explore a bit of the tourist attractions here in Rome. The amazing architecture and its history of the city makes me so fascinated every time I come here. And the feeling never gets old. And though we were not sure of the direction of the place we wanted to go, we still took a few photos of every place we were passing by. There are also times that we were clueless about the place here. But I guess that is the exciting part of the journey. Sometimes you get a few detours and sometimes it gives you a better opportunity. Just like being able to visit again the Fonte di Trevi which normally gets crowded all year round. Trust me, I never got this much closer to this fountain before with nobody in my background. So we were grateful that we decided to go out and explore the city again during these times as we never expected this area to be this empty. I think this is something to look forward to when traveling during these times. After staying here for about an hour, we decided to go back on our track and find the direction of the Spanish steps we've been trying to go. And after a few detours, we finally reached our destination just right on time before the sunset. This time we saw lots of people, but I'm pretty sure they were not tourists since they talk in Italian and not so many of them were taking photos. After a while, we decided to go back to the hotel as there was a curfew at 10 in the evening. The next morning, I woke up at around 8 and did my one-hour morning ritual. And after that, I went to meet the other crew for some breakfast. The good thing about it is that the breakfast here is only 4 euros for us, and we already have a decent one. I'm also flying with my mafia. That's how we call ourselves when we fly with the same nationalities. 
It took us about two hours for breakfast alone as we enjoyed just connecting to each other. And after that, I decided to go for a walk and explore the hotel we were staying in. If you've been with me for a long time, I always love nature walks. I love to see green surroundings. I also noticed that the hotel pool was empty as they don't allow guests to use it for the time being. But it was a relaxing view. I wonder how it is when there are people around. It must be so lively. The hotel also has villas with a balcony, but still, everything here was empty. I've never seen anyone roaming around the hotel, which also allowed me to take photos and videos without getting embarrassed. And while exploring the area, I just listened to the birds chirping and the gentle breeze of cold air. I'm glad I decided to discover a new place, even if it was just around the hotel. These are the things I always took for granted when we were still flying many hours before the pandemic. In this trying time, it made me realize that I don't have to go far to see the beauty in every place. Sometimes, it's just right in the corner. I just have to learn to open my eyes. May it be the simplest things, but the moment I focus my attention on my surroundings, that's the time I appreciate its beauty. I hope you guys enjoyed my short video for today and thanks for watching till next time again